everybody, I'm Nora Burrows and I won a Darlene Misho penny auction. Can you believe it? When I say won, I mean I was the highest bidder, which isn't really winning, but it makes me feel good. So I won. And I'm gonna tell you all about that in just a minute. But I first wanted to say that Darlene Misho has been a huge inspiration to me in my quilting, in my creating, in my YouTube videoing. A lot of people don't like her. People have very strong feelings one way or another. People either seem to love her or really not. She swears and <clears throat> people don't always like that. I started watching her, um, cause she's a YouTuber. I started watching her right around when I started quilting kind of her energy around, you know, mistakes aren't really mistakes and I'm gonna kind of do things the way I wanna do them is really fantastic. I'm gonna show you what, what I want in just a minute. She also does a lot of vlogs. She has like a gazillion Walmart tagalongs, which thank God she does because she stopped doing them. So now I have to rewatch them. My husband will be like overhearing my my watching of these Walmart tagalongs and he'll be like, what are you listening to? I'll be like, oh, Darlene, Darlene's doing a Walmart tagalong. And he's like, well, what is she doing at Walmart? I'm like, well, she's shopping. And he's like, well, what else? And I'm like, well, she's shopping for her mother and like telling us how much stuff costs and stuff. And he's like, well, what else? And I'm like, that's it. That's, that's, that's what, and he doesn't get it. He's like, I don't understand why you would be watching her go to Walmart. Besides Darlene's quilting videos and her Walmart tagalongs, she also does these penny auctions and she's been doing a lot of penny auctions because she's moving from Maine to Mississippi and she has a whole series on that, which I'm loving. Um, but she's kind of decluttering all of her fabric stash. A penny auction is where you put something up on eBay for a penny and then people bid and it goes up and up and up. And she does quite a few of these penny auctions and I keep an eye on them and sometimes I bid but I never win because I don't know why these crazy people are spending so much money on this stuff I mean this is like used fabric and scraps and things like that and these these auctions go up quite high sometimes so I she recently had a series of seven seven lots so she put everything up there up on eBay you could choose which of the seven to bid on. And she had a video, which I'll link to this video if I can, showing all the things that she was gonna, going through the fabric of each lot. And I thought, you know what, this might be a good time to bid because there's seven lots up at the same time, you know, may maybe I'll have a chance. And so I bid on three lots and I won one. So I kind of remember what is in here, but not really. Because of the fact that I bid on three, I can't remember really which things were in what, and it's been a long time since I saw the video of what is in here. Let's open it up, let's see. And I thought, let's make something with what's in here. I don't know what, I don't really have any ideas. I don't even really know what's in here, but I think that something in here, let's make into something. Let's do it today, now, and let's see what's in here. Oh look, she put she put thank you. This is just to me. She she knows that this is coming to Nora Burroughs, to me. Okay, so I got lot three. It's seen in my video. All right. Darlene touched this, touched this piece of paper. And she circled these things and wrote thank you. Ah, I love it. Okay. So let's see what's in here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're just gonna go one by one. We have these dogs, which I think are so cute. And this might be, <laughs> it says woof. This might be what we make something out of today. I think this could make a really cute kids quilt. There's not a whole lot of it, but I think we could use other fabric kind of paired in here. We could fussy cut around these. Like, look how cute that dog is. I'm not even like really a pet person, but I think these guys need to be used. Maybe today. Okay, okay, <laughs> this is really funny. This, I do remember. So, I kind of love, so this is, this is the pattern for a vest. And can you imagine, like, if I actually cut out this vest pattern and, like, wore this vest like to the grocery store or something. Um, this looks applique on, but it's not. This is just like a printed material. <laughs> but I think this is hilarious. I'm not making a vest. I can't believe like this was ever really in fashion, but what I do love about this piece is this woman here. Um, and I think something like kind of 
cool and humorous could be done with like this image but I think I would have to think that through oh my gosh there's like a cat on the other side <laughs> all right so I mean was this really ever a thing you can comment and tell me if this is something that ever in your life you would have worn but I I, I can't imagine um, so we're not making a vest I don't know if we'll use this today I want to use this lady somehow um, in kind of a fun way but I don't know what that is so we'll think about that Okay, this is suitcases, and what are these here? Oh, that's like a hat box. So these are like old fashioned suitcases. That's really cool. Uh, what would I make out of this? Those have crows. This is gonna be the perfect fabric for some kind of project, but I need to think what that project is. I mean, of course, everything comes down to quilts. Like, you could make a really cool suitcase quilt, right? You could make a really cool dog quilt. You could slap that lady onto a quilt block and make a quilt. So, I don't know, maybe I'll just make a quilt. Maybe I'll just make quilts out of all these fabrics because that's really what I wanna do. That's really what I love. Okay, what's this? Oh, this is a Christmas fabric. This is great. I can tell you right now I'm probably going to make a bag out of this, but not today. That's kind of fun. A little polar bear. It's like his little doggy. Instead of a dog, he has a polar bear. That's adorable. Um, oh, and there's another polar bear. There's the mama polar bear. So, oh, does it look like he's wearing a quilted scarf? That's cool. Look at that. Maybe we should make a quilted scarf at some point. So this will be a bag, but not today. This is American Pride fabric. God bless America. Justice for all. Liberty. Freedom. Maybe I'll just save this. I'll just put this in my stash. I have a feeling that's going in my stash. This, I don't know what I'm going to do with. I really like, I really like it, but it's these horses running. I think it's supposed to be a pillow, but I'm actually not a big fan of making pillows and I probably wouldn't use this pillow in my house. I think there's two. There is. There's two. Um... So, I'll have to think about what I'm going to do with this. I could just make a couple napkins, but that doesn't seem very exciting. Maybe a bag? This could be a good bag. That's something we could do easily today, but I'm kind of still leaning towards the dog. The dog fabric. This one, I'm not, I might just pass this on. I don't know. This is kind of like, what would I do with this, right? It's a panel. I guess it could make a good baby quilt. I could make a baby quilt and donate it to like, Lin what is that um, charity? Linus's Blanket or Linus Foundation, something like that. They, you can make quilts and then they get them to kids who need them. Um, so I could do that. Maybe I'll just make a little blanket for charity. And maybe I'll put this on the back of the baby charity quilt because I'm not gonna do anything with that. Ooh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is coming up. Give thanks. Maybe we should. Okay, so here's where, no, this is good. Let all that you do be done in love. Love that. There's one I know that I'm not crazy about. When life gets too hard to stand, kneel and pray. Now, this is just going to be going somewhere else because I'm, I'm not religious. I'm spiritual. Um, and I believe, you know, in things being connected, but I'm not, I don't like organized religion at all. Here's another one. Let your faith be bigger than your fears. Nope. But these two are lovely. And I, I think maybe just, they don't need to go together, right? I could do something just with the give thanks. Give thanks in all things. Maybe a little wall hanging for Thanksgiving. We could do that today. A little wall hanging. Still leaning towards the dogs. Oh, I remember this one. This one might just take the, the lead over the dogs. This is Valentine's Day fabric. We are not near Valentine's Day at all, and there's not a ton of this. Uh, and the X's are cut off, but I do love it. And you know what? I don't think we can use this for, I don't know, because the X's are all cut off, right? So you're really just getting the borders here. And then O's. So what I might do with this is, hmm, 
I might just use the borders for something scrappy and then maybe cut out the X's and O's and cut them into two inch squares or something. I don't know, I'll have to think about it. I don't think we can use this today though. It's gonna take too much thought. This is all male related, I think. Hi. <laughs> I love that. This kind of goes with the dog fabric. Let me get that dog fabric. This go? I mean, I think so, right? Like some of these, not all of them, but some of them would go like that high, I think could easily go. What does this say? Snail mail. Oh no, this one is the air mail. Um, this one is air mail. I mean, the colors certainly go. I don't know if the theme goes snail mail. Um, let's see, there's more. This one says pen pal. Oh, if I had more of that house, it could be like a dog house. Okay, uh, let's see. We have special delivery. That could kind of go with the dogs because maybe it's like you're getting a new puppy. Snail mail, apple, that's more of like a teacher theme, I think. Snail mail, special delivery. Here's more. We have a full house. It can be a doggy house. How perfect. More. There's a nice big piece of this. So I think a lot of these we've seen. Is this the same house? Oh, this is a different house. Oh, nice. So I think these are supposed to be like actual houses, but I totally think you could use it as like a dog house for sure. These colors don't really go. I feel like the, the pink kind of throws it off. So maybe not this one, but definitely the other house. This house has like just a little bit of pink, which I think is fine. Geez, I think I'm gonna have to make a whole full snail mail quilt. More, I'm not gonna open this up because I think you get the idea. This is another one that I don't know what I would do with. I can't even really picture myself making a kid's quilt out of this. Um, so, I mean, this would be super cute, but I can't actually picture myself using this. You know, it, oh, you know, I think it's a panel. Let's see. Yeah, because look how, yeah, that's a panel. Maybe I would use that as a panel, but I usually cut panels up. I'll have to think about this one. And here's the last bit of fabric. <laughs> I do remember this, and we might have to use this today. It is so funny. I kind of, God, I would never buy this out of a store. I just wouldn't, but, you know, what? <laughs> I think you're gonna laugh too. These are ridiculous. So you have like, you have Santa fishing, right? And you have Santa kind of look, looking a little hungover on the beach. Um, and he's playing mini golf. Uh, I just think this is hilarious. So I kind of wanna make, it's gonna be so tacky. This would be like the tackiest quilt in the history of quilts. But I also think that it could be really funny. Um, so look, there's there he is scuba diving. Oh my God. So, and what is he doing here? He's, I kind of wish he had a metal detector in his hand. That would be really funny. Uh, and oh, he's playing with the dolphins in his little tube. This could be really fun. So now, I don't know, it's between Santa and the dogs. You know, I feel like I have a hard time working on, here, let's chat for a second. So I spent $38 on that lot. I would never in a million years spend $38 like going to a fabric store and buying those individual pieces. But having it come from Darlene and having such like a random crazy mix, like that woman in her vest, I think is just so funny. Like would I actually go to a store and like spend money on that like random piece of fabric just to have the woman in the vest? No, would I ever go buy that ridiculous tacky Santa fabric? No, but I'm really happy I have all of these items now, most of these items. What I was gonna say as we were wrapping up, going through the hall there about the, the Santa fabric, is that I have a hard time working on Christmas projects before Halloween. So I kind of want to put that off. I definitely wanna make that Santa quilt and I want that Santa quilt to be done in time for Christmas. 
but I'm, I think not today. What I think we should do today is make the dog blanket because it's so cute. But first thing I'm gonna do is fussy cut out all those dog images. And I'll use some of those snail mail images too, but not as many of them. Let's do it. I've cut all of these out to have about a one fourth seam allowance of white. So when this is attached with another fabric, it'll just go right up to the edge. I have four different kinds of dogs here. And then I have these bones, toys, woof, and some flowers. I have six of these. I have the least amount of these. I have five, I have six, and then 10 of both of those. These ones in the fabric were pretty close together. And so I had to, if I was gonna get that one fourth seam allowance of the white, I had to choose between these two dogs every time I cut the fabric. So that's why I have half as many of these. What I was thinking is that since I have four different types of dogs and I have four kind of accessories here with the bones, toys, woof, and flower, I could make quilt blocks with the dog with one kind of accessory. So for example, I could have, you know, the dog with the bone or the dog with the woof, that kind of thing. And that would make my quilt block a little bit bigger. I'm thinking about having a quilt block per dog and kind of lining them up and then doing some fancy piecing to make it more interesting. The other thing that occurred to me that I got really excited about was the possibility of making a pocket in this quilt. I feel like this quilt just screams for a little pocket, pieced block, and then have a little pocket in the quilt. So I'm definitely gonna do that, probably. The other thing we had talked about was using some of this snail mail fabric here. And the two pieces that really made sense were this high balloon, which I think is cute, and then this house that looks like a doghouse, or it could look like a doghouse. But I think the colors aren't right. Um, this red here is kind of a more burgundy red than the red behind the dog, and that would bother me. So I can't really use the hot air balloon. And then the pink here doesn't show up anywhere else in any of the blocks. So even though this blue is pretty perfect, the pink just doesn't work. So I'm not gonna use any of the snail mail fabric. My next step is going to be to go and find some complementary fabrics to all of these pieces that I've cut out. All right, let me show you the fabric that I already have, and I'm hoping I won't have to buy anything for this project. I don't know if this one really goes. I think it might be too green, but it could also be a nice contrast. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that one, put it aside. That's a maybe. This goes so perfectly. Look at this. How hilarious. It's like fabric that's made right out of his little cute jacket. Here's another one that I don't know if it really goes, but it could be a nice contrast. Let's move some of these over here. It could, it could work, but it might just be too much going on visually. This yellow I'm concerned is too muted that compared to these other yellows in the blocks that it's just not quite substantial enough. But it could work. It could kind of just calm everything down. This, I think, is pretty perfect. It's just this kind of blue gingham, and it goes really nicely with the, with the blue in the quilt, or the blue in the blocks. So that's good. I have a green, which kind of looks like this, the green in his bandana. It's not quite minty enough. The, Green in these blocks is a little more minty, but I think it's okay, I think it'll work. I got this red from a good friend. I'm excited that I can use it now, and it's great, you know, polka dots, right? And then this one is different polka dots, which are pretty perfect to these polka dots, but I'll have a little theme and variation. This red might end up being a little bit off now that I'm looking at it, but it might be good. We'll see. And the last one I found was just this blue. Um, I don't know, it might not go, but it's kind of, it looks kind of like a jean material, so that might be okay. 
Here's the plan. I want to make 25 quilt blocks. Each quilt block will have a dog and an accessory. So it'll be five blocks across by five blocks down. Each block will be a little bit different. I don't know exactly how they're going to look, but I'm going to go ahead and start making those blocks and then we'll touch base when I've made a little progress, probably in a couple days. But for you, it'll be right now. So I changed my mind. We're gonna end the video here and then making this quilt will be a separate video. I'm gonna have a quilt chat probably next and then the making of this blanket will be the following video is the plan. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.